Morning, how are you? I'm just negotiating through woodland at the moment. Um, we're carrying on today with our love affair <laughs> of uh, sandstone formations. More importantly, because of where I'm from in Kent, we're concentrating on the border of Kent and Sussex, namely the uh, Ardenlea sandstone outcrops. We've done a lot of these and we're getting close to the end now so kind of mixed feelings about it because it's been a long journey for us to sort of do them and uh, we haven't got many to many left to do now and i'm going to take you to a place that uh i've visited on many occasion and uh yeah it's a really good one and uh, i'm going to get muddy but it's going to be a really nice time just to sort of take you with me so uh, we're going to go to harrison's rocks Stay with me and I'll see you on the other side. Hello, so we've made it to Harrison's Rocks and this is the first part of the outcrop that you see if you come from the lower car park. Um, so really, let's just have a brief history lesson for all of you out there. Excuse the noise, there's a lot of maintenance going on. I might talk about that later on because it's coming towards Christmas. But let's talk about Harrison's Rocks then. So um, its name was repeatedly given by um, a man called William Harrison who used to uh, come down here and um, manufacture firearms up until the 1750s so mid 18th century mid 1700s however you want to say it and then around about 1950 the forestry commission took over and it was about 1958 that a group of uh, rock climbers uh, purchased it and obviously now really this whole sandstone outcrop like many around is popular for uh, rock climbers so um, the leaves are falling it's properly autumn now like I said, heading towards Christmas. And uh, I thought I'd take you round and you can have a look and you can enjoy this wonderful sandstone and the amazing colours and everything else that it surrounds. It's absolutely brilliant. So let's go take a look. So I suppose many of you who are familiar with my channel know that my obsession with sandstone is, uh, well, it's obsessive. <laughs> and um, I sort of thought to myself, I want to start making more of an effort to try and get, especially the Ardenlea sandstone outcrop, pretty much done. There are a few notable ones to sort of still finish off. But uh, Harrison's Rocks is just fantastic. And uh, let's take a look. It's dead quiet here today. Well, <laughs> the irony. It's dead quiet for people. However, there is definitely a lot of maintenance going on over in the distance. But um, look at this. The camera will never do this place justice. But it is just a beautiful outcrop. And it's prime for rock climbers. You can see why they love it here. You really can. I've never had the option or the opportunity to do any rock climbing here, but 
Also, unfortunately, speaking to someone about it the other day that rock climbing is like riding a bike like it is any other sort of places that it's muscle memory. It's all of those types of things. And unfortunately, because I haven't, I haven't done it in years and years and years, I'd be knackered. <laughs> I would be shattered. Uh, and I think obviously, you know, there's many people hell of a lot older than me who do this but I think they do it consistently and I don't have the gear anymore I don't have any of it but uh, maybe sometime in the future I might treat myself but for now I'm very dis I'm very content just walking along this wonderful sandstone outcrop see that keeps popping its head out of the beautiful autumn leaves that have fallen and the beautiful colours I think it just adds to the sort of beautiful landscape I'm so sorry for that noise. But uh, that is the old... So there's two... You've got the main line train, which is over there. It sort of interjects. And then you've got the old railway line, which is the sort of um, one that, like I said, you'd probably recognise because you can get to it from... Um, Tunbridge Rolls West, what I'd call to it, is Tunbridge Rolls West Station where you can do the Santa Claus sort of thing. So I might be wrong on all that now. It's changed a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to sort of say it definitely is just in case I'm wrong, but they're definitely doing something on that. So uh, yeah, but we come to see the sandstone. And every little sort of outcrop is just beautiful in its own little right. Beautiful colours, everything about it, it's just spectacular. Oh. Wow. So a couple of other points I want to mention about Harrison's Rocks. You've got to pay for parking if I haven't said that already. Um, it's really just so sort of obviously to pay. There's toilets here, so you you will catered for, and um, you, there's there's a really nice place that I like, which is a little seated area on the rocks. I'll show you that in a minute. But also there's a fence on the opposite side. So when you get to, when you're going my way, there's a fence, and it basically cuts off the rocks anyway. So you sort of know that you've reached the end point, if that makes sense. But um, we've got to go up because we need to take a look. Let's go. Right. <sighs> stunning. Simply stunning. You can see the people have obviously cut into it a little bit and uh, everything else. Oh god, that noise! <laughs> really picked the wrong day for it today. We'll just have a laugh about it. Let's do that. It's a really tranquil place. I mean, you can hear everything. <laughs> oh dear. But like I said, it's a place like this really that you have to experience for yourselves. And if you can't, I tried to make it the best opportunity, best best possible video I can make it for all of you out there who may never get a chance to visit it. So, um, but trust me, it's not always this noisy. <laughs> you gotta take my word for it. But, um, it's like I say, it's so worth a visit here. Like I say, I've come here in autumn because really I want to get the colours. The colours, and I was hoping for the tranquility, but that ain't happening, is it? <laughs> but, uh, it just blows me away. Every angle of this could be a, an incredible photo shoot. Really just spectacular, and like I said, worth the parking. So at the moment, as of me filming, it's a quid an hour. So I've just given you a heads up if you do decide you want to visit. Park here and it's about a pound an hour, just to let you know. And uh, But it's simple, it's easy as. So let's keep going.
Okay, so we now get into the bit of Harrison's Rocks that I really enjoy. So we're about sort of a third of the way through now. And you can see just classic sandstone, isn't it? This layered weathering effect that obviously with time and age just comes this sort of unique sort of like sort of dimensions to this sandstone. And I think that's another reason why I like it so much. Knowing also that we know that probably for years and years and years these outcrops would have been used for potential sort of just shelters, for habitation as well. I mean there's no reason why not. As with all these sandstone outcrops, there's always been sort of fragments of flints, etc, etc. Like I said, because we're on the East Sussex sort of... We're, we're in East Sussex, but we're... I mean, Groombridge is literally down the road. And Eridge Station is literally on the opposite side. Just here, just, we're pretty much equidistant. But it just doesn't get boring. And obviously we know that when the rock climbers had come here, when they bought this, obviously they've moulded it a little bit more, which is understandable. But it just makes for an incredible experience by the noise. Right, so we're coming to the good stuff. Now, <laughs> I say we're coming to the good stuff, it's the stuff that I like. There's a beautiful sort of uh, little seated area. And then you've got the classic, well, I won't say too much, but it's a, it's a, it's a part of rock out clock that's completely split. Um, but I'll, you'll enjoy that in a minute. Um, yeah, but the views are spectacular really stunning around here symbolizing that sort of east sussex kent border landscape that i endlessly drove on about that no matter where you are on the east sussex kent border those sort of areas those romney marsh or eridge these sort of places it's just truly brilliant when you sort of cross over you do feel like there's a distinct no man's land between the two counties very similar to uh, Surrey in a certain way, but this just seems to feel always more rural. Even if, like I said, you come down from South Kent, like I said, to go to Romney Marsh, or you just come across on the Western Kent border. Really spectacular. But you can imagine these rock climbers here really, really having a brilliant time here. Like I said, it's just truly spectacular. The sand on my feet here as well the leaves on the grass the holly bushes <laughs> signifying Christmas oh it's the time isn't it so dramatic right let's keep going oh dear Ugh. I love when you see nature at its purest the trees strangling the life out of these sandstone outcrops trying to bed their way in can you see there where it's made its own groove within the sandstone so so incredible wow absolutely brilliant so i'm now sitting on this little bench that i like to refer to it as and uh, it just has this incredible <laughs> that's <laughs> the view. So there's your mainline train going through. Uh, just to point this out, there you go. Make as much noise as you want to, honestly. God. And then that's the old track there. But yeah, I'm on my what I like to call the bench. Because just look behind me. I mean, I'm sitting down. What an incredible, I mean, point behind, if you can see it, it's sheer rock. Isn't that just incredible? 
acts as a sort of almost like a um, sort of acoustic mirror because the fact of it's the sound just what you know is the sound just bouncing off of the sandstone and hitting back again it's sort of doing this doing doing like this but it just is so brilliant breathtaking see the transition of the colors as well that sort of orangey color that earthy color that we have in every crevice we'll have a look up there actually because I keep forgetting this camera doesn't have a zoom function on it but the moment we get into it the acoustics change every little nook and cranny that you can see really is just so amazing these sort of like lime calcite greens you can see people's indentations where obviously I'm assuming they've got the chalk and they're gripping onto that makes that permanent imprint on there brilliant look at that wow see so we are uh, we're getting to the sections where you can see a lot of rock climbers use this you can see they've put these wooden sort of frames here and obviously they just go at it <laughs> They really do. You can see the chalk here. It's incredible. I wish I had the flexibility to do all this. But I just don't think I can anymore. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Oh, sure that is a hell of a lot of fun to go and do that. Really, really brilliant. <laughs> just makes you look up. And then here... Look at this. See where a chunk of it is just sort of fallen, but it's wedged in almost like a fixed wedge. Brilliant, isn't that just incredible nature? Absolutely wonderful. Really just amazing. Oh. Wow. Again, <laughs> just blows your mind every time you come here. Incredible. It's always beautiful, isn't it? When you sort of like, often think it's very different for me when I record something that I've been to, to actually being here and not recording it. Because I sometimes feel like when you're recording, you have to highlight, you have to be more aware of the details than you would be when maybe you're passing by because you take it for granted. And uh, every time I'm here, oh, I'm trying to think how many times I've been here now. Not too many, I'd say maybe about four or five. Just completely feels different every time I'm here. It's probably down to the colours, the seasons I've been here. I mean, I, I remember coming here in summertime, it was mega busy here. Like there was, just remember rock climbers everywhere. And, uh, but we're going back a fair few years now. But, really just reminds you of how amazing nature is you know and over time weathering and everything else you know we've all spoken about it's on all my sandstone haven't i it's what, I'm, what i really like about it is that unlike abandoned buildings or anything else we kind of know that abandoned buildings will go one of two ways they'll either be demolished to make way for new builds 
or they might be repurposed. But when it comes to nature, and as I always say, nature always wins, is that when it comes to nature, the colouring, knowing that this could be here for, well, every one of us watching this, this will outlive all of us for many, many years to come. It really will. And maybe we don't really sort of, maybe we take that for granted a little bit, knowing that the DNA of these places, especially from years gone by, even William Harrison himself may have had DNA of his footprints and his fingers and everything else embedded into the rock. If you're spiritually inclined, that is. A trickling of water. Cold, blimey. Look at this. A little stream. As it comes through the natural rocks. That noise. Oh, I love it. I, really do. I just love it so much. And even though the noise of the, the uh, chainsaws in the background may be a slight distraction for today, they are not ruining it. Hopefully it's not ruining it, ruining it for you either. Hopefully you're having a really nice time with me as well. Obviously, if you do come here in autumn, it's very muddy, wear wellies defos you will properly get squelched <laughs> there we go well i mean nature made this the nature is still making it because we see those tree roots roots from all these wild plants embedding themselves as we said before the transition of different colors we're going to these earthy greens lime this typical sort of like lime based colours isn't that incredible well I love it probably need to come here more often I was thinking I like to look back on some of the notes that I make and um, my mum keeps a journal I do occasionally ask my mum I'm like when was it the last time I played here or when did I remember coming here because she makes notes on everything as mums probably do and uh, yeah about my fourth visit here. So, um, yeah, I need to come back here more often, I think, on this one. But then I say that with all my sandstone, no matter how regular I go to the other ones. <laughs> oh, I should come back, he says. Well, I should just do anyway, shouldn't I? Look at that. Look at that. So we're coming to the end of our wonderful journey and I'm going to say the best thing, it's almost near the end of the outcrop, but you'll know when you see it. I just want to make it really clear that today we're not going to traverse up onto the top and look down because there is another footpath, the whole woodland is behind this. So you can do that. We just want to focus on the beauty of all of this and more importantly as I always say in my videos, to encourage you to go out and explore for yourselves. As I say, this is a wonderful place no matter what season you go. And the parking's not too bad, you know what I mean? You can, you can tolerate it. But as I always say, you know, this is this is really... When I talk about sandstone, as I've probably blabbed on already too much today for you, it really just encompasses the fact of how much I believe in nature, how much I really have this sort of spiritual connection to it. The fact that it all has this incredible energy. Nature always wins, I keep saying that. And why... Even though I may not be as optimistic about the future as I probably should be, it's moments like this that I'm never going to forget. This sort of autumnal sort of feel, coming here and sharing it with you more importantly. And for all of you lot to go out there and do it. As I always say before, it's one of the purposes of the channel for all of you to come out and explore these wonderful treasures that we have in our countryside, especially the natural ones. 
because these are the things that really have been made from a time that we would we, we can't even remember the time before documentation was around everything else it's just truly spectacular how these formed just amazing so um i'll talk at the end i'll have our well, i'll have the customary sort of phoenix history moral story at the end but um let's let's get on with it because we've got some got a few more things to say let's go Right, so as I sort of said, I saved the best to last and it kind of benefits actually when you do go for your walk. We've not necessarily finished, but it's just a nice thing to see. Look at this. <laughs> it looks like, um, is it when those Atats or whatever they are in Star Wars? I'm not really a sort of Star Wars aficionado, but you know the, the, you know the ones? Or is it on the, that Hoff, the snow thing, and they've got those gun turrets that are shooting out at Atats or whatever it is? I don't know. You'll know. More of a Lord of the Rings fan, so sorry guys. I like Star Wars, but no, Lord of the Rings, come on. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is so much better. <laughs> Controversy. Don't get me started on Harry Potter. No. <laughs> and there is your controversial moment for this video. There you go. Comment, comment, comment. Oh my God. No, but uh, yeah, we need to do. So there's many, um, I mean, as you've seen, I could, you know, we've, there are many of these sort of like little passages within the sandstone, but this one is just the best. It really is. You can see how precarious these sort of sandstone boulders are. But the best one is the one that you can see, which is on the ledge and it hangs over onto the other part. Now, before we have a look through, I think it's best if we just look at it from here first on the outside. It says, what's he say? Access to isolated buttress. There you go. It's not simple. Bolt should only be used. It gives you a nice little warning there. There you go. Just in case, you know, who knows. But well. But as I've done every other time that I've been here, Let's walk through it, come on. So this is the one consistent thing every time I've come here. I always remember doing, you see the moisture just running down. Really brilliant. <clears throat> and you've got this. I don't actually know, this looks man-made to me. And I've uh, always wondered why they've done that on here, but who knows? I'm not an expert on this, so. But uh, this boulder here, so precarious. Looks like it could just fall at any moment. Amazing. And then you see here this incredible man made little well. <laughs> But looking up at this boulder, it's just so scary when you look at it. Because you think, at some point that will, that, I mean, erosion will probably rub that off. And it'll fall. Brilliant. So we're almost at the end now. Of our little journey for today. Brief journey, I'd say. Because... There's so much... Like I said, this, this place... Really, I mean, I could have done a, a huge video on this place with all the little nooks and crannies and everything else, but yeah, no, not for today. Just give you a brief taster. Just enough, like I said, that for the people who might never come down here, you might hopefully appreciate it. And for the people who might want to come down here, it gives you a nice taster for you to come down. So like I said, we're near the end now. And again, look at, I'm just amazed at the trees when they hang on, wrap themselves around these rocks. So basically, where the end of that rock, so if I give you the finger of doom, there, 
that's basically a fence lies all the way down there at the end of that. Well, I hope it does. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Look at those colours, aren't they just brilliant? So, oh, every time. Every time. It just takes your breath away. I was always say, you know, I appreciate it. People aren't going to love this sort of stuff as much as me. That's fine. Probably prefer your World War II or your ruins or whatever, but you know, I'd be interested to know if, um, train, I'd be interested to know if some of you people who do explore those types of things appreciate this just as much. Maybe for different reasons. It's just spectacular, isn't it? So, as I said, we could go through there. Another little nook and cranny which takes you to the top and beyond. You see where they've put little planks there. And that's obviously for when they climb the rocks that they can uh, meet them at the top. Same here. Got some steps within the walls. Again, makes a beautiful video. Again, another little boulder there in between. But uh, for today, you've seen it. So, but for today, I think we're just going to stick to the front of the outcrop and uh, you know I'm sure some of you people out there who do filming and do this properly you probably do a better job than me so I'm just doing it in my own little way hopefully that's enough Well, it's quite sad really, come to the end of this wonderful outcrop, Harrison's Rocks, here we are, this is the fence, it is here, what I remember, I swear you used to be able to go down there, from the end, so, I suppose you can, looks like a footpath, just looks very blocked here for whatever reason. Swear you used to be able to see that. Yeah. My memory seems to blur a lot these days, as I've mentioned. But there you go. Incredible outcrop to end on, isn't it, really? And the fact that we've straddled this, hugged it, all the way to the very end. And if you look through, it does continue on a little bit. Obviously, as we know, it forms this Hardinlie Sandstone Ridge outcrop. Wow, isn't that brilliant? I'm really lucky today actually, the weather's really held out for me. And as I said, well, you know what? Let's have a let's have a sit down the little chat. Oh. Come on. There we go. Well, finally, you couldn't make out, could you? The sound of the chainsaws and the Landscaping seems to have uh, ended. That's all right for me because that means that I can walk all the way back. Hopefully, the sound of trickling water and maybe the sound of the train is the only thing that's going to disturb my tranquility today. Thank you so much for coming along with me, for spending this time enjoying it with me. Love to all of you out there. Hopefully, you had a really nice time with me. And uh, another sandstone outcrop ticks off the list. And what a great one! We've got a few really good ones left, so don't be disappointed. But we're getting there. And I'm just glad I can take you along with me. And also that I can share my own memories of these places. Because I think every other outcrop now that we're going to are ones that I've been to before. Obviously including Harrison's Rock. So I'll hopefully, throughout the course of you know the coming 
whatever time, whenever I decide to visit them, I'll share you my own thoughts and feelings on them. But uh, as I always say, nature's incredible, and it's places like this that just make me uh, so happy to have the opportunity to explore them. So yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. You need more words of Phoenix history because history matters. And I will see y'all very soon. Look after yourselves, everybody. Take care.